Hey guys, today I have part three of my fall fashions favorite week. So I decided it would be fun to do a series of fall fa fashion favorites. And so I've entitled the series fall fashion favorites week. So Monday through Friday of this week, each day, I will be uploading a new video for you guys on some of my fall favorites. And today it's going to be a fall jacket. So these are going to be some lightweight ones that I wear when it starts to get a little bit cooler for that transitioning phase. And then there's also some that I will wear toward the end of fall into winter as well. But I wanted to just share with you some of my favorites and any of these that are still available. I will link down below in the description box for you guys. And I'm also going to make a playlist for all of these five videos that I'm doing this week. So I will link that down below as well. So if you want to check out all of the videos from the fall fashion week, then just go ahead and and click on that playlist in the description box and I will have all of those added each day. So let's just go ahead and get started with these favorite jackets for fall. So I wanted to go ahead and get started with this jacket. This is a jacket that made my favorites list because it's one that I will keep in my vehicle for when it starts to get a little bit cooler. Here in Tennessee, the way it is, is it's really cool in the morning and then it gets super hot in the middle of the day. Then it gets a little bit cooler toward the end of the day. So I like to keep this in my vehicle so I can have it at all times because I might not need it in the middle of the day. But if I'm out in the morning running my kids to school or if I'm out and about in the evening time, then I do need some kind of jacket. This is perfect because it's a great neutral color, so I did pick it up in gray. This is a Columbia jacket. It comes in a ton of colors, and you can find it just about anywhere. So this one's one that's really nice and lightweight, but it is still kind of warm, so it's that great transitioning piece, but I do like that it has the pockets on the side. And then it also has this little zipper pocket right here, too. I don't really know what I would put in here, but it's a cute little detail. It gives it a little bit of interest on the sleeves, if nothing else. This one does not have it. But I do really like this jacket, and I will just show you how this looks when it's zipped up. It's really nice and warm, and it's a great lightweight jacket. It's not one that's going to add any weight to you. And the pockets are also lined in like a fleece, so they're really nice and warm too. So this is the Columbia jacket, and I just think it's a great lightweight jacket to have. And again, I got it in the neutral color just so that if I am putting it on, for those cooler nights or mornings, then it will go with any of my outfits that I have. So this is a great casual fleece jacket. I absolutely love it. It's from Columbia, so it's a really great quality. And I did purchase it in a medium, so it does run true to size. Next up is gonna be this great faux leather jacket. So I did actually pick this up a couple of years ago from Amazon and I did look, it's still available, you guys. So I did link it for you. I love the color of this one. It's a great beige camel color. So it's gonna go good with all of your fall colors. If you like that warm palette, this is gonna look really good with it. It's a great neutral. And I just believe that a faux leather jacket is just really essential to have during fall, just to add as an extra layering piece to any of your outfits. And I really like this one. I just like how it has this design design right here and then it has your zipper pockets so you do have those really nice side pockets it's a great feeling jacket so you can have some faux leather jackets that really don't feel so good and then they always make that sound as you're walking but this one really feels like a leather and you can kind of get a close-up look it feels really nice and it looks so good and I don't know if you can see this detail right here I just love the detail here, it just kind of makes it look a little bit more fitted looking. This is a great jacket and you can see how it looks zipped up. I do have a thin shirt underneath this, so you can't really wear anything too bulky if you get it true to size, because I did order this in a medium. So I did order it true to size. And then it has these nice little slits here on the side as well. So it makes it great if you are someone like me that has to cuff my sleeves, then that looks so cute and rich looking if you just cut these sleeves up. So this is a perfect jacket for fall. I love it. Like I said, I've had it for a couple of years. It does come from Amazon and it's really good quality because it's healed up and I have worn this so much each year. So I was really excited to pick this one out of my closet. I actually have all of my fall items in wardrobe boxes from the previous years because we are in the process of renting because we're building a house. So I was so happy to pull this out of my wardrobe box. It was so fun to try this back on. And I thought I did have to include this in my favorites because this is one that I've loved every year and was so excited to be able to pull it out this year as well. So the next one you're probably gonna hate me for because this jacket is phenomenal. It is so good and it's under $40. But I just showcased this in a Nordstrom Rack video that I did. And by the time I got finished editing it and putting it on, it had sold out. And I really hate that because this is such a good 
jacket. So if I can find it somewhere else besides Nordstrom Rack where it's sold out, I will definitely link that down below for you guys because this is such a good one. It's from Max Studio and I love the color. This is just the perfect color of brown in my opinion. And I like how it does look vintage looking. So you have your lighter look that goes through it. And then you also have like almost a burnt look. So I think this looks really vintage. It feels so nice. If you were just looking at this jacket, you could not tell that it was not a leather jacket. It's such a good quality vegan leather jacket. And then the buttons and all the zipper details kind of like in an, in an antiquing style. So this is so good. I love that it has your pockets on the side. It's such a good quality jacket and I was so happy to be able to pick this up for under $40, but I literally have only had it for a couple of weeks now and it's already sold out at Nordstrom Rack. So like I said, I will try to find this somewhere else for you guys. But this is such a good jacket, you guys. So here it is as a moto style look, but I don't really like to wear them zipped up. I always like my jackets open just to showcase what's underneath it. This is so good. I did order it in a medium and you can see when I zipped it up, it is a little bit tight around the chest. I am a 36D just for reference. And so it did fit a little bit tight across the chest. You can't really have anything big and bulky under this, more of your lighter weight shirts if you're gonna get it true to size. And as usual, I do have to cuff the sleeves, but it does have a really nice zipper detail that is on the sleeves as well. This is a phenomenal moto jacket, just perfect in every way about how it feels, about how it looks and the quality of it. And it just really looks so vintage looking, which I love. I love the look of this. It's so nice. So if I can find this somewhere else, I will definitely link it down below for you guys. But I think if you can find just a really nice, rich brown moto jacket, it's perfect for fall because it can go with so many of your outfits. If you do like that warmer palette look, the brown looks so good to just complement your brick reds, your rust colors, the blacks, the navies. It just looks so good together. And I just love this jacket, you guys. It is such a good one. So I wanna move on now to the puffer style jackets. This is seriously one of my favorite ones. I picked this up last year. I wore it so much last year. This was one that I would go to for some warmth. If I wanted something with a nice hood and that puffer style look, this was a go-to for me. So good. The quality has held up so nicely. This comes from Amazon and I did check before I did this video. It is still available, so I will definitely link this for you guys. I got this in this charcoal color, but I want you to kind of look at this. It has a texture to it. It has like a little pattern to it. So this one's really nice because it's not just a regular gray, but this gray is going to go with everything. It's going to be a really nice and neutral, but this is like most of the things that comes from Amazon. It comes in a lot of colors, but I did really like this one. And this packs up really nice too, because I've taken this on a couple of trips and it's really nice to pack up because it doesn't take up too much space. And it's not a puffer style jacket that adds weight to you. It's really nice in a slimming effect and it's just so nice. It's lightweight, but it still keeps you warm. I love that it has these pockets. Now the pockets are not warm. They're made out of that same nylon. So don't expect to get your hands warm if you put your hands in your pockets. But I do really like this and the length of it's a little bit longer. So it's really nice. It does have this hoodie as well. The hoodie is not detachable, so it does have to stay on. So last year I would find myself reaching for this one or I had picked up a white, beautiful winter white color puffer jacket from Walmart from the Time and True brand. And I almost showed you that one, but it's not available. I'm really hoping that Walmart brings it back this year because it's a great puffer style jacket. It was just about the same price as this one. The one at Walmart was just a little bit more budget friendly, but this one's still a really good price for what you're getting for sure. But if Walmart brings those back, I really hope that they do because those were so good too. So last year I did find myself reaching for that winter white if I wanted that winter white color. And then I also found myself really reaching for this one a lot. So I can tell that I'm gonna be using this again this year so much. It does run true to size. I did order it in a medium. And this one is one that even in the arms, I have a lot of room in the arms, so you can wear a sweater under this and still have a lot of room under it. Really a nice one and a great quality puffer jacket. Next up, I love this diamond quilted jacket from Kate Spade. So I did pick it up in this pink color last year. I looked three days ago and this was still available in pink, but then I just looked before I started to film this video and it's sold out in pink now, but it is still available in a beautiful navy color too. 
This is such a nice diamond quilted jacket. So it's a nice puffer style. It has some wettings here on the sleeves, also down the sides. It has top pockets on it, but this diamond quilting pattern is so beautiful. So you can see the back of this as well has a really nice pattern detail to it. It is more of a shorter style, but it is so cute. It's such a well-made jacket. This is one I had picked up last year. I wore it last year. It was so nice and warm, like I'm sweating as I'm putting it on and I just have a tank underneath this. So this is such a good one. It does run true to size. I did order it in a medium. Love it in the pink color, but it is pretty in the navy too. And then Nordstrom actually has it in an olive color and black as well. But this is such a good one. Any kind of puffer coat I think is so cute. And one that's more slim fitting instead of like really puffer like where you look like you've added five or 10 pounds by putting on a jacket. Cause these are nice and warm without having to have all that bulk. So let me just go ahead and start off by saying, if I only had the budget for one of these jackets, this would be the one that I would keep because I love this one so much. It's from Bernardo. I love that brand. This is something that I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I did just look today before I filmed this, it is on sale again at Nordstrom for the same exact price that I picked it up for at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So if this is still available in your size, which they have it in the black and this beautiful color, I can't remember what the name of this color was, but I love this color. I think it's such a pretty color than just your regular classic black. And look how good it looks with black. I think it looks so pretty with black, but it also looks good with a lot of the other fall colors as well. This jacket is by far one of the best jackets that I have picked up. I've already gotten to wear this this year. I went on a cruise to Canada and New England a couple of weeks ago, and this is something that I wore while we were in Maine and in Nova Scotia and St. John because it was a little bit chilly when we first got there, and I wore this. I absolutely love this. It is so flattering. It does run your size. I did get it in a medium. I've got several Bernardo jackets or coats, and this one, is so good. I think all of them are very flattering because they just have this seaming detail. If you can kind of see how it kind of goes in right here on this seam. So it draws that eye in and it makes that smallest part of your waist just appear smaller. So I love to incorporate jackets that are flattering as well as what's underneath, but I really love this. And when you put your hands in the pockets, the inside of the jacket is lined in fleece. So it's really nice and warm. And then if you can see, it's got a really nice length to it. It doesn't quite cover the entire bottom area, but it does cover some of it. This color is gorgeous. It has this really nice like rib knit detail up at the top as well. And same thing with the sleeves. These have a lot of room in the sleeves. So you can wear sweaters and things underneath this, but this gives you a lot of warmth. It's really nice and flattering. I'll show you the back look of this as well. It's just such a good jacket, and I'm so glad that it's on sale again because this one is a good one. I love the color of this one. It's just such a good jacket. I am really excited about this one, and it packs so nice too. So like I told you, I did carry that on a cruise with me, and it packed really nice and flat. It didn't take up much room, and it didn't add much weight at all to my suitcase. It's just a really nice one. I love this jacket. So I had to adjust the camera a little bit on this one because this is a little bit of a longer jacket. I think that you need a trench style jacket. And this one I picked up two years ago. It is still available in this color and two other colors. I love it in the classic navy color, but this is such a good quality jacket. I was super surprised. I bought this from Amazon and I just fell in love with the fit of this. I love the way that it looks and it feels really nice. This is not a lightweight trench jacket. It is more of a medium weight, definitely not a heavy one. It has some really nice pockets that are kind of fleece lined, so they do keep your hands warm on here. This is water resistant and it's windproof. It does have a detachable hood, so you can um, use the buttons to button off the hood if you don't want the hood on this. This is just a great trench jacket. When I purchased this, it was under $60, and I'm not sure about the price. I hate to tell you the price on Amazon because it fluctuates depending on the size, color, the time that you're buying it. So this one's really nice though. Like I said, I ordered this two years ago. I've worn it for two years, and it has held up really nicely. I think this is a really great price for a trench coat that you can wear year after year in this classic navy color. It's not gonna be trendy where it's gonna go out of style, and a trench coat has always been 
something that's a classic piece to have in your wardrobe for year after year. So if you don't have a trench coat and you're looking for a great one, I would highly recommend this one because this one is so good. I did purchase it in a medium and I have been able to wear big chunky sweaters under this. The sleeves can get a little tight if you have a really chunky sweater underneath it. But other than that, just a regular medium weight sweater fits really nicely under it. Some tunic sweaters look really good under this as well. But I really love this. So it does have your little belt. And then it is also, the buttons are really nice quality buttons too. So I just wanna show you how this looks also when it is unbuttoned as well. This is such a nice trench. So if you like to wear your trenches open and just kind of like tie the tie back in the back, you can do that also with this one. I just think that this is a really great made trench coat and I've just had it for years. I've not found the need for another trench coat because this one has definitely fit the bill for any kind of trench that I would need. And I just love the classic navy color and just how it fits. And the length is a really good length. It comes about mid thigh on me. And I just think it's such a good jacket, guys. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video on favorite fall jackets. So I hope you are enjoying this series. This is really fun to put together. I used to love to do monthly favorites, but I didn't feel like you all liked the monthly favorites as much. So I thought maybe that I would do some kind of seasonal favorites. So that's where I got the idea to do just like a fun fall fashion favorites week. So I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, please give it a thumbs up because I would really love to know your feedback on whether you like this series and want to see it year after year. But I really have a lot of fun putting these together, just kind of looking back at my closet and seeing the pieces that I would always pull year after year, in addition to some new pieces that I've picked up as well. So this is day three of Fall Fashion Favorites Week, and I hope you are enjoying it. I would also love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. So I do videos like this weekly on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So I'd love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.